like a, a tattoo on the outer edge of your lip. Yeah, there and there. Yeah. Don't look at me, I'm utterly disgusting right now. Packing up is like emptied the entire contents of the van all over my mum's living room floor. The downside of living on the move. So this is the case that's going into storage. Security search. Centre, great. Uh, we've been, we're getting searched. Like coping with things a lot better. Back to the Riviera. So happy. everyone hello everyone welcome back to a brand new vlog a very rushed intro i'm so sorry let's give you a quick update so this is the last vlog in the uk we head back tomorrow morning early hours ryan's like done his whole schedule you know it's like so 5 a.m we're setting off so of course the last day we're cramming loads of stuff in loads of stuff that we've just still not done yet like Ryan's got to get some pictures done he needs a new driving license and packing up he's like emptied the entire contents of the van all over my mum's living room floor we've got to sort it all out because when we arrive in France we've got an Airbnb sorted by the way he knows that we're all going to be exhausted so he doesn't want to be like pulling everything out he just wants us to separate items that we're gonna need um yeah so there's all that like to sort it's like one of the worst points of traveling and just being on the go all the time is all the stuff and packing for different things and different weathers like i'd say that's the worst um but i am currently in Bawtry in Doncaster because I've got an appointment for I'm having it's called a lip blush so lots of you will already know what this is but for anybody who doesn't it's basically like a, a tattoo on the outer edge of your lip basically I've lost a lot of my natural lip outline color it can happen naturally with age you can lose it I think mine's down to having lip filler during my 20s. I had them done quite a few times. Last time I had them done, I was about 28. I'm 35 now, so it's been quite some time, but I have lost the natural colour of my lip, which is fine when I've got makeup on, because we wear lipstick and lip liner and everything. The time when it bothers me is when I have no makeup on, and I do notice it. So it's something I've been thinking about for quite some time looks really natural and they just put well i'm hoping they can put what was once there back and then they like blush it out like blend it out so it's like a real natural lip blush so that's where i'm going today and i thought you know what i'll bring you along because it's quite exciting and interesting and some of you might want to see and we don't want to just keep it from you do we in case i end up with these fabulous looking lips and I've got some explaining to do not that I would ever do that I pretty much tell you everything I don't care um so yeah that's where I'm going I've literally got my appointment in about four minutes time and I've just parked my mum's car but I need to go and get parking which is why it's a rushed intro but I'm going to be bringing you along today I've got to take Nancy to the pictures later to see Barbie as well we're going with my mum um packing up getting organized ready for a very very early start tomorrow morning so exciting times i hope you enjoy the last of the uk last of the uk vlogs until christmas time probably so let's go i'll mix the color did you bring yeah. any so yeah i did you normally wear quite a bright lip don't you yes it's really quite nude. But, um the time that my lip line bothers me the most is when i've got no makeup on yeah um, obviously I'm still in the wear lip liner yeah. like lipstick, so I don't think I'd like a, to be too bright. 
Yeah. And I've got no face on. Yeah. Um, so, there's two that I like. Yeah. It's like, like a muted, dark pink. Because if I put anything lighter or corallier on my outline, it just doesn't feel natural. The yeah. actual outline is quite dark rather than peach, isn't yeah. it? It can last up to two to three years, but you will find that they just the colour, the design, the pigments just fade off. Yeah. So with a colour that's like a pink or undertone, yeah. you don't notice it fading as much because it basically goes into like a natural lip colour. So yeah. I would advise that over a coral anyway. Yeah. Something more orange base. I'd, I'd advise something more. Yeah. Yeah. There and the. Yeah. Do you think that's from filler then? Yeah, more than likely. Do you think? Yeah. And you'll find when we've done the shape, mm. just by having that outline defined, mm. will completely transform like the shape of your lips. It'll make them look so much more fuller. Yeah. And that's what lip blush without, is good for. Uh, yeah. with, without the need without for filler. actually, yeah, filler. Yeah. Just putting back what yeah, was once there. Putting back there. the pigment that should be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the shape. Yeah. So the white bit is where obviously wow. we don't go. I mean, they look full. Don't that's they? what I mean, just by, that's your, all your own natural lip tissue. So that's just putting what was yeah. there back? And that's oh. the guide that will follow. Okay. Yeah. Great. Are you happy with that? Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. They look really big. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're sure, that's yeah. my lips. That, that's, that's your lip tissue, yeah. yeah. So what I'll do is I'll start by doing the outline, following mm -hmm. the guide that we've drawn on. Then I will numb. Once the outline's in, I'll yeah. then numb. I don't numb beforehand because the numbing blanches the skin and it takes the okay. colour out of your lips. Okay. So once the outline's in, I'll then numb and then we'll do three passes of shading. But yeah. I will numb again after each pass of shading. Okay. So you should be completely fine. Okay. Super tiny. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> they turn out completely different because they do. Because yeah. your natural undertone in your lip mm. determines what colour of the pigment yeah, yeah. will heal in your skin. Okay. So that's why I always say to people on your top up if the colour's not quite what you wanted, we can mm. always tweak it. That's okay. the beauty of it because the pigments fade up over time. Mm -hmm. Next year, if you came back for a yearly top up and you wanted, Oh, actually, I want more pink. Like, yeah. You can do that. It's not what old traditional tattooing used to be like. Yeah. It's quite flexible. So I'll do the outline now, and then I'll do one pass of colour, and I'll just see what it's looking like in the skin. Okay. <laughs> With no numbing oh, that was on your outline. That was yeah. a Oh my gosh, look at them! They have swelled up. <gasps> wow. 
I promise I didn't have any sneaky injections whilst I was in there as well. Oh my gosh. Do you know what though? I love the colour. It's obviously um, bright now. It's going to relax a little bit. But I love. What do we think? I'm so glad I squeezed that appointment in before we travel back to France. Because I've honestly been thinking about it for about... Maybe three years-ish, but I wouldn't have that done in France at all. I don't even know anybody who does it in France. They're quite behind with like beauty treatments and things like that, I find. Um, and I wanted to obviously go to somebody that I can speak to properly and make sure I know that I'm having what I want done. But, oh, gosh, guys, they feel really like tingly and swollen right now. But I think I love it. I've done it. I've just got to look after them now and obviously protect them out of the sun and things. So you usually go for a top up within, I don't know, I want to say like eight weeks or something, but obviously I'm not going to be here. So I'm going to go and see Alex again at Christmas time for a little top up and tweak. But thanks for sharing the experience with me, guys. It wasn't too painful. It was just quite niggly, but I just tried to close my eyes relax and just not think about it but um there we have it i mean i couldn't have not told you could i you'd think that i've been for a load of filler next go home get nancy and me my mum and nancy and possibly rachel one of our friends are going to watch barbie at the pictures that is next with my new lips, Barbie lips. Let's go. Barbie ready. Show me your outfit of the day for the Barbie movie. I've got pink Barbie socks. Pink Barbie socks. There you go. Wow. Have we Barbie-fied the Crocs? Yeah. I think we have. That one's almost broke because it's so hard to take oh, off. Oh, okay. Show me the other one. Barbie girl, and then anything else? And then the Barbie the t shirt. And some, and some Look shorts. at that. Little denim shorts. And then Peyton curls my hair. Hair looks gorgeous. And then we've got a little cherry clip. You look like you're ready to see Barbie movie. We're going with that. We have to go at like a little bit before five if we're buying sweets. Okay. What do you think to mummy's new lips? Big. Big. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to stay that size. They're just swollen. What do you think to the colour? Cherry. Cherry. Mm -hmm. Do you like them then? Wowie wow wow. The downside of living on the move. How do you like your front room, Ninny? You Probably love come. us coming, I'll don't you? To see you go, honey. Yeah. yeah no, really. Oh. Right. Challenge sort clothes for the next couple of weeks on the Riviera. Challenge for who? Challenge for me? Challenge for you? Hmm. I don't know who's who's in something. So let's have swim shorts, so we need them. Yes. Oh my gosh, more. How was the Barbie movie? It was good. You enjoy it? You pull your Barbie sets up. Well, shorts, t shirt. Just a shorts and a t shirt. That thin jacket. Um, that thin jacket. No, he won't he'll want to be comfy, so a hoodie maybe, just as a. Alright, there's a hoodie over there. Pass me that one. Wait, do I. Pass wear... me that grey one. Carry it's going to be these shorts. Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm just going to pass these out and these can go into that other room with mum. So this is the case that's going into storage. Okay. So Nancy, do they still fit you? Yeah. Dad weren't sure? A little bit. I don't think you'll wear them anymore. Well, yeah, but I need new trainers. Leave them on wash them and give them to uh, Olivia. Yeah. Yeah. I just need more trainers. You do, honey. I've got like one pair. Yeah, you've no. got these. Actually, I've got I've two I've washed pair. a pair as well. Two the pair, one she's been wearing mostly. I have, I have washed them. Where are they? 
I've washed them. Oh, you like them nice ones? There, they're you? there. I've washed them. Yeah, there's Perfect. my two pairs of trainers. Yeah, well, we'll get you some new ones when we get so back from starting school. Sock. Which ones are you going to wear for school? Those Do you want ones. a new pair? I can't wear those ones. That's for Seth for tomorrow, then. No, but if you want to make these your school ones, I will get you a new pair for, like, weekends and stuff. Anyway, you can think about I don't, it. These are my school ones. Oof, want, sorry. Do you want like, new ones of those? No, I want two school ones, so I don't just wear the same pair. Okay, yeah. Two. Some match. And then I have the brown and the reddish brown ones. Yeah, and quite big. I'm just showing you. I show He's got you. his purple ones on at the moment. Which ones will he wear tomorrow, then? He'll wear his purple ones tomorrow. I'll wear these ones tomorrow. Hey, yeah, and that's yours. And wait, what? Those are yours, right? Yes. Uh, yes. That's Ryan's. And those are yours. Good morning. Don't look at me. I'm utterly disgusting right now. This is normal. Dark and swollen nip, lip, not nips. Nips. <laughs> She's got dark and swollen nips. What, what have you had to not told me about? <laughs> this is all normal, okay? It says on the aftercare sheet. So, no makeup, very dark, not attractive look going on, okay? But it's um, 5.19 and we've just set off, so leaving Doncaster and going to Dover to get the ferry which is only like a two hour ferry this time we're not doing the overnight one so we will be in France today and then we're going to get a hotel along the way this which, evening yeah I've sorted a hotel oh lovely we'll be staying in Dijon tonight in Dijon are you okay there sir I'll just have to it's take a dangerous it. stop for you Dijon a couple of antihistamines Ryan's got an extreme allergy with mustard so I always get a little bit anxious when we're passing through that place so yeah. stay in there yeah. wow that is such a brave boy we're staying in south Dijon okay lovely right listen I'm not going to talk to you anymore because I'm quite conscious about these very dark uh, swollen lips which is completely normal by the way please don't get me loads of stick um, yes Sergeant Ryan mode this morning, full swing. Literally counting actions by the second. He's now just necking a load of uh, supplements, your morning supplements. Did you just chuck down there? Uh, yes, ashwagandha. Oh, yes. And seven mushroom complex. Oh, interesting. What's that one? It's uh, the, the nootropics. Nootropics? Yeah. The. Um, like help your brain fire make connections whoa this Focus. soldier's ready <laughs> aren't ya mm. look at glorious doncaster at 5am on a friday morning dover by 9 33. obviously we'll have a couple of stops on the way i like to do my uh, mobility stuff in yes the i'm going to wait for my morning coffee i'm going to see how long i can stretch it out well you probably have it on the next stop which will be in a couple of hours I'd say. Around about Peterborough. Lovely. Maybe, no, we'll probably get lower than Peterborough. Do you know the one job I forgot to do? Didn't what? get around to it. What? Changing the windscreen wiper blades. Oh that's gonna annoy you. I hope to god it doesn't rain. I forgot to mention the reason why they're all shiny is because I have to keep putting this like protective aftercare balm on them, like a healing balm, so it's not me smothering them in lip gloss, it's like a, like a barrier balm, part of the aftercare. Back to...
research centre. Great. Uh, we've been we're getting searched. Why are you? Oh bloody hell. Are you nervous that we're getting searched? <laughs> no, not really. We've got nothing on us. Are you nervous? Something for you, yourself. Oh, they don't oh, put no. me nuts <laughs> off me. <laughs> and food. Hello. <laughs> What's happening with that? No, you're not come. You stay there. Watch what you're doing with that. Oh, she's gonna search the back. They didn't even search the back. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. That was really easy. They didn't even search the back. They just searched it back. I think they would have took our nuts off us. Ah, uh, nuts, yeah. Shh, quick. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> we're through, we're through. We've got through with our nuts. Nut smugglers. <laughs> A wamba. Oh, look at them. Original whams. Wamba. Good morning. Hello, hello. Hi everyone. Can you guess where I am? We made it back to France. Got a coffee here. Just made a little collagen coffee combination. And I've got a straw in there because I am following my lip aftercare. I'm taking it very seriously. I think the most important thing is aftercare to get the best possible result and you will be happy to know things have settled a lot I mean we're on day it's Monday today by the way start of a brand new week in a brand new place I've got lots to update you on but lip wise we are on so I had them done on Thursday afternoon so Friday Saturday Sunday Monday we're on like day four ish and I keep putting the balm on, which is an aftercare balm, which is a vitamin, I think it's A and D balm. It's very, very good actually. So good that even um, when I've run out of the tube for this aftercare, I'm going to try and keep buying it because it's really, really nourishing for dry lips. So we've got a little bit of peeling and messiness, but swelling has drastically gone down and the colour is changing, it's softening all the time, it's still quite dark, um, it will be much more natural when it's healed but all is good, better than the last time you saw me that's for sure. Anyway I'm sorry I stopped uh, vlogging on our travels back, it just got very tiring and yeah it was the worst traffic we've ever seen on the way back to the Riviera there was just cars full of families and caravans and everybody traveling to get to their holiday destination and that road that we used like there was people going to Spain Italy France it was horrendous um, but we did the the plan so we got on the ferry which I think is where I stopped vlogging after the security search uh, which was fine by the way, we were joking about getting all our bags of nuts taken off us because we bought all those nuts in bulk and all that health stuff but um, yeah, then we got on the ferry, that was for a couple of hours and then we continued the drive when we reached France and Ryan made it to Dijon as planned and we stayed in a hotel in Dijon, what was the hotel? When we got to the hotel, we've actually... What was the hotel called, Seth, that we stayed in? Uh, I think it was... Uh, yeah. Was it an over-hotel? I don't know. Yeah, we got to the hotel and we'd actually stayed in that hotel before. We didn't realise on one of our travels to or from France. Can't remember. Um, so then we did the overnight stay in Dijon. All had the most amazing night's sleep. We just got a family room. Kids and Ryan had breakfast the next morning while I packed the room up. And then we travelled for the whole of that day. So we set off at like 7.30am. And we didn't reach the Riviera until about, I want to say 6pm. The traffic was horrendous. Like at one of the petrol stations, the garages, we queued for an hour just to get petrol it was just bonkers but we're back so happy to be back 
I'm going to give you a full Airbnb tour in the next video. I'm going to give you a full update. I'll give you a quick whiz around just so you can see this bit, but the views are insane, actually. Got a cute little table over there. It's the most gorgeous little terrace. And we've got fabulous, in fact, I'll stand up and show you because there's a full sea view, mountain view. Oh, it's just a maze. Private little terrace. And hello, Cote Look at that. Incredible. How nice is it to be back? Got the sea over there in the middle. Oh, guys, it's absolutely lush to be back because, as you know, we didn't get one single day of sunshine whilst we was in the UK. Sun's probably going to come out, like, now, now we've left. But, yeah, we didn't get a single full day of sunshine. Such a shame. Although we did make the most of it. It was the best UK trip we have done since living in France and by that I mean mindset wise we went back with a different mindset this time I don't know if it's because we have like conditioned ourselves with all this change that we're just becoming immune to it and like coping with things a lot better um but we said we were going to be super organized because usually when I get back to the UK like the kids routine slip don't have the dogs with me there's so many changes all going off at once you lose all sense of your own little habits and routines that you've put in place and I just go to mush like I eat rubbish I feel rubbish I turn into a slug and then I'm like oh I can't wait to get back to routine and Ryan can he's more disciplined than me but you can get a little bit like that as well and we get to the end of it and we're like oh I just want to get back whereas this time we went back with a fresh head. It was like, okay, yeah, the kids are going to lose routine. That's fine. They go to Nini and Grandad's. Nini and Grandad spoils them. It's the holiday. Just, you know, let it be. But it doesn't mean that we have to lose routine. So we joined the gym for the short time that we were there. Pure gym, was it? Um, we did regular gym sessions. I stayed on track with my anti-inflammatory lifestyle. We put things in place and we just planned so much more. And we also got organised and thought about what we wanted to bring back to France with us. So we like got stocked up on stuff. I got some things for his business that he struggles to get here. Just everything. So we came back feeling really like focused and yeah it was really really good really really good trip so I recommend that to anybody like all these struggles that we go through a lot of the time are all in our head and you can beat it you just have to put little plans in place and stick to them it's just like discipline but I have a sip of coffee now with my straw so back back to the Riviera I'm so happy um, house viewings will resume this week. We have got, I think, four house viewings this week. The first one being this afternoon at 3 pm. So, rise at work, straight back to work today. It's Monday. Um, my car's still in the garage, it's getting its roof repaired, and I think it's had just a quick, I don't know, service or something. Um, so, we should be picking that up later. And yeah. Just wanted to check in, say hi, give you an update. And in the next vlog, I'll give you a full tour, show you where we are, and we'll catch up then. Lots more too. But thank you so much for sharing the journey as always. Can't wait to see you in the next one, guys. Sending so much love. Bye.